Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are making one of my favorite soups ever, chicken pot pie soup. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff. And it's great for all these rainy days we've been having. So easy to make, so comforting. Let's go. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is add some butter into a large pot or skillet. We're gonna let that butter get all nice and hot and bubbly. And then we're gonna throw in some fresh chopped onions. We're gonna throw in a little bit of celery. Dice them up really, really small. I don't like big chunks of onion and celery in my, mm -mm, I don't like that. Okay, now we're going to add in a little bit of chicken broth. Go ahead and pour that right into your celery and onions. And now it's time for our vegetables. I'm using some frozen mix, frozen mixed vegetables in a can of the um, potatoes. You can use fresh potatoes if you want to, fresh veggies. It tastes the same, really. You know what I'm saying? It really don't matter. Go ahead and stir that up. Bring it to a light, light simmer like this right here, okay? Looks good. And now we're gonna add in our chicken. I just grilled up, I, mean, I just um, roasted some chicken in the oven, a little bit of garlic, um, onion, pepper, salt, boom. Go ahead and throw that diced chicken into your bowl, I mean into your pot, and then just stir it up. We're mainly just gonna heat this up because we have our vegetables and our potatoes are done. We're just gonna heat it up, set it aside. Now we're gonna make that cream sauce. I have some butter in a pan. Gonna throw in some flour, and then we're gonna whisk, 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 and get that um, flour nice and golden and kinda cook out that floury taste like that. Perfect, and now it's time to add in our milks. I'm using whole milk and a little bit of heavy whipping cream to make it nice and creamy. Go ahead and just pour in that milk. It's going to be all nice and steamy. Keep that whisk moving though, okay? Keep that whisk moving at all times. And then we're going to add in our heavy cream to get it all thick and creamy and stuff. And the, as you whisk it around, it'll begin to thicken up. But just keep that whisk moving, moving, moving and continue bring it to like a light simmer and then just continue cooking it until it's nice and creamy like this right here see how it coats the back of my um spatula perfect that's great now go ahead and add this cream mixture right into your soup and stir it around and now it's time for my favorite part we're going to season this soup up to perfection i didn't add any measurements this because really trust yourself just add whatever tastes good to you i use a lot of parsley okay lots of parsley i threw in some balls then I added in some black pepper, a little bit of salt. I threw in some garlic powder, onion powder, some, um, what is that? What is that? Oh, more garlic powder. I threw in lots of celery salt. Just trust yourself, okay? Just get it tasting the way you like it, the way your family likes it, all right? I kind of like mine a little garlicky, oniony, a little bit of salty and a little peppery too, you know? But you see how it's getting nice and thick as we kind of stir it up and as it cooks a little bit? Perfect, perfect texture. Now, we're pretty much done. Once it's all seasoned up, you're done. You're good to go. Now, go ahead and put your little lid on the chow. You finish, it tastes the bomb. This also freezes well, okay? But now we're gonna work on our pie crust bites, all right? I have already made my pie crust it's out the fridge. I have this recipe on my blog and a video so many times. So yeah, I didn't do recipe on this one. I already got it. Go ahead and take your pie crust out of the wrapper and just flatten it out to about, hmm, probably like a half an inch thicker. So I kind of like mine on the thick side, you know? And the reason why I love this pie crust so much is because it tastes like biscuits, but it has the texture of pie crust. Yum. So use your little cookie cutter, cut out some cute little shapes. I do hearts because they're so cute, but you can do any shape you like, all right? Place it on your baking tray. We're gonna bake this at 350 for about 20 minutes or so, just until they're nice and golden. And when they come out of the oven, go ahead and brush them with some butter, okay? Trust me on this, you wanna brush it with butter, it's so good. These little bites are so addictive. I can eat them plain. They are that good, all right? Now go ahead and serve up your little soup. You can sprinkle on some cheese if you like, but boom, there it is, you guys. This soup is amazing and I love how the pie crust bites stay nice and crisp and you know wonderful as opposed to using biscuits you know perfect 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 blend of pie crust and biscuits here don't forget you can find this recipe on my blog at divascancook.com thank you guys so much for watching later